All right, hello again. I am back with some bow plus dagger gameplay, and this time I'm going to show you this loadout real quick, and I'm going to do a pretty nice poison dungeon or vile hall dungeon. But yeah, so this crossbow, I mean bow, not a crossbow, is 79 ice damage plus attack power. Pretty amazing, probably my best bow. Then we've got here the daggers. I've got, they're actually slicing blades, basically the same thing. Um, but 72 poison damage plus throw distance. And the other one over here is basically the same thing, but 71 instead of 72 damage. Pretty cool. They look awesome. They've got like a little marble uh, aesthetic to them at the bottom. It's pretty awesome. Uh, probably the, the coolest looking daggers. I do wish I had an ice version of them though. But that's okay. Or fire. Or basically just all the versions. That would be that would be nice. But alright, here we go. We're going into the not this one, but this one. I think this is it. Yeah. That should be it. Bladed Crips. Yep. And as far as difficulty, tier six. Here we go. I've only done this dungeon once, and it went pretty well. And that's my new this is my new thing to do in the outpost, is chucking the snowball, seeing if I can get him out of the out of the outpost. <laughs> it's pretty fun. Okay, where's the loading? We got it over here. Okay, here we go. So, awesome thing to start in this one is that I just jumped to my death and totally missed the chain. But, <laughs> no, um, there's always a key right over there, and then there's always a chest, level 2 or 1, uh, tier 1 or 2 chest that is down there with the key so that's a convenient start to the dungeon this one unfortunately locks us in um which isn't a terrible thing oh that was a terrible dagger though my goodness um but yeah because this doesn't lock us in or it does lock us in it's hard to speed run this dungeon but that's okay i don't record speed runs anyway got that dude oh wow apparently you get poisoned from that guy afterwards that was wow i thought my since my stabs did 100 damage i thought they would kill this guy a lot faster but that still took like five pokes Ooh. Ooh, come on jab him jab him oh got him oh that was oh, nice all right nice. Ooh, got a zombie here we go poke poke oh dang that was pretty bad Keep reviving myself. I'm letting these zombies hit me. Okay, yeah, it's it's really poke zombies in the face before they hit you because um, they've got like a weird hitbox, so it's a lot easier to go sideways at them. Um, but these guys, oh wow, it's a little easier to poke these guys and, and get their bodies stuck to your daggers. Kind of cool. All right, I'll use some bow while I'm at it. And miss my shots. What do we got? Kaching. Oh. Double headshot. One of the arrows didn't even look like it did. Okay. I always like going to the right um, just because I feel like that gets me to the end more likely or, or to the next place with goodies. There's always a key right where I just got, by the way. And then there's always a key right here as well. So get this key and then. I'm gonna climb up here and we're gonna jump to get this tier three before we gotta fight everything. And back on the chain. Ooh, I, I thought I almost missed that for a second. Thought I was a dead man. But even if I was a dead man, it's no big deal. Also, oh, guy's getting pushed. Nice. Um, let's get these. Oh, that is just so beautiful, man. Oh. I accidentally tapped them. <laughs> That's okay. No biggie. Vroom vroom. If I really wanted a speed run, I could be teleporting off those chains, but nah. Don't want that. Come on! Okay. <laughs> I missed them. Tried to, tried to catch up to that dude. Ugh. Man. So hard to auto aim on these uh, these flying guys. Let's get some crossbow or bow action. Um, 
But yeah, the flying guys hard to hard to hit them with daggers because of the auto aim. Kill this guy first. Oh wow, I missed. I'm doing terrible. Come on, hit the shots, JJ. Ugh. There we go. And uh, tends to be best to hit these guys in the body because um, they kind of just shatter on impact almost no matter what. Um, I mean, it helps that I have 79 damage. Uh, if you don't, it could take a lot more shots. But the uh, zombies, you definitely got to hit them in the head if you want to one-shot them. Um, but a lot of weapons can one-shot them when you hit them in the head. But, I mean, skeletons too, you can hit them in the head. And that, I still think, does more damage. However, it doesn't really matter. Oh, shoot. Okay, yeah, I'm just... I'm so bad at <laughs> stabbing zombies in the head for some reason. But that's okay. Um, we'll go over here. There's always a key right here. So I'll take that. Get that little slice action. Oh, yeah. This guy. Let's see if I can get the poke before he comes in. I mean, those purples are always, purple skeletons especially, always hard to, hard to melee because they come in at you and jab you so aggressively. All right, so I saw that this room, this room always has a tier three chest in it. So I definitely wanted to get this, push this open and nothing in there. Uh, yeah, that's right. I don't have a key yet. I can go check over here. I might have to use one of my haste potions I made. Oh, I think that key's always there. Could be wrong, but the haste potions I make uh, before every run in case I gotta like backtrack. Oh man, yeah, see, these guys block with their bows all the time. Super annoying. This is always fun. <laughs> oh, yeah, so, oh my, my daggers are auto aiming like crazy. Get that out of here. Ooh. And then <laughs> I think this arrow is blocking my, uh, my aim. Ooh, almost got hit by that dude. Oh my gosh, hit my shots, man. Come on, burnt pan. Okay, there we go. Not terrible. A little little messy, a little choppy there, but that's okay. Nothing there, so I'm gonna not die in that pit of doom. Bam, put this lever down. I feel like there should always be a key up here or somewhere around here, but there just isn't. That's okay, unless I'm completely unaware. I'm gonna save this key because I actually don't know how many keys I get in this dungeon. I feel like they're... Oh man. Yeah, I thought for sure there was a guaranteed key in that room, but guess not. That's okay. I'm gonna use haste to backtrack a little bit. Ooh, and then it's hard to grab chains when you're hasted. <laughs> Hasty wasty. We Okay. Now, those two, these two places I did not go in, so... Oh! Perfect. Do I have two keys? No, that is not perfect. Not at all. Well, it's not terrible. It's not terrible. Because I can open this. However, I think, yeah, that's a level two, but it's frozen, so I don't care about it. Uh, Frozen's kind of suck, especially after you've already collected everything. So yeah, tier three. That's nice. What I get? I think I got another bomb. I've been getting a lot of bombs. I don't want bombs. <laughs> I didn't go in here. Yeah, yeah, this is it. Ooh, that's a big skeleton. Give me this skeleton key. Bam, poke. Oh, my goodness. Get that head. Yeah, these are some big, big skelly boys. They're generally pretty hard to take down. Not as hard as the purples, the legendaries, but they are, can be quite difficult. Oh yeah, this is a big, big purple. That's, that's a tough one to take out. But that one didn't dodge as much as I expected. So it was kind of easy. That uh, that key up there that I just grabbed was also a guaranteed one. And I totally forgot to uh, grab this thing. That was a little mistake -a Here we go. Up to chain. And jump, jump. That was a weird jump. That's okay. Give me some loot. Oh, cool. All to my death. Oh, cool. I actually died. <laughs> That's why it sucks to accidentally open your inventory. Um, okay, but I do have the map. That is always nice. I think it's always spawned in this room for some reason. But 
yeah falling to your death in solo does not matter at all i think if you fall to the de to your death at the same time as your teammates in multiplayer i totally didn't see that either if you, if you fall to your death at the same time as your teammates in multiplayer then this time i'm not gonna fall be a little careful um you all die at once and then the the, the run the dungeon run completely ends when you do that so don't do that i already yeah i already went in there no i did i no maybe i didn't but i don't have keys so it doesn't really matter yeah whatever i think i went in both of those rooms i think we're good for now We've always got a key right there that I'm going to open this. Oh, my goodness. That guy spawned right on top of me. Usually they die with one throw of the knife, but that guy took two. He was a little sparklier, so I think he took a little more damage. All right. What do we got here? I'm going to open this lever. I could just jump over, but I'm not going not gonna to do that. Also, <laughs> my poison... The poison uh, effect just dissipated immediately because my I healed up. Oh my goodness! I should be stabbing. Um, I healed up with the vitality perk right as I got poisoned. Oh goodness! Failing. Hi, dude. Okay. Um, what do we got? Give me that coin. Ooh, yeah. And I don't... Oh, I'm blind. Okay, this thing. And then we grab this lever. And there's a lever over there that we don't need. Oh, I still don't have a key. I feel like there's a guaranteed key in here. I just totally ignored that guy, by the way. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, I don't think it's easy to block with these things either. So I generally just go back and forth. Do a little jousting, kind of. Or, uh... I guess lunging, lunge action is probably the best. Ugh. Jump on! Oh, I should have, should have poked him. Because poking does more damage. The stabbing with my exo perk. Um, all right, what do we got? We still got no keys. Not so fortunate for me. I think. Okay, that's the last room. So I'm gonna go back, backtrack a little bit, and grab this haste and zoom, zoom. Oh, yeah. We don't want to run into those because we already died once. It doesn't matter if I die again, but I'm not going to do it anyway. <laughs> um, okay, so we got one key. I'm going to try to save more keys for... Oh, that guy didn't die in one hit. That's crazy. Ugh. Hard to fight in uh, super haste <laughs> when you have the haste potion and the haste perk. Oh, cool. All right, let me just make sure I don't die here because being a little careless with this dude... <laughs> Oh, wow. I just bounced right off of him. Happens sometimes with the armor and the the weapons that they have. They parry the uh, bow shots by accident, I would say. And I mean, I parry, bow, I parry their bow shots by accident sometimes, too, I think. They can shoot each other, too. We can't shoot, shoot our teammates. So we're, we're pretty OP. Whereas those monsters, you, you can call them OP, but they're not... All right, we've got that, which I don't need. And let's start it. Also, I, I am taking damage when I step on that poison, but it does not matter because I've got vitality. I automatically regen. But yeah, no way I would ever hit that knife shot <laughs> on point, point if there was no auto aim. So I'll take it. Ooh. And then that one I got on the return. And... Ooh. I don't know if that counted as a poke. I don't think it did. I think I went up the side of the blade. Ooh. Man, trying to swipe me, man. Um, yeah, actually, this is a really great room to practice. Okay, see, he just parried me three times in a row. That's crazy. <laughs> All right, that guy's dead. This guy definitely got to use my bow for. He. Oh, cool. Yeah, see, it can even bounce when they're frozen. But yeah, no, this is a good room for sniping. It's really fun to do that. Uh, especially when they're really far away. Um, and you can, like, go on this platform and be the sniper man. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> that arrow just bounced off him. What is with that? <laughs> and then he gives poison when he dies. A lot of bosses have those death damages. Did I really not find any more keys? That sucks, man. I do have a haste, so I'm going to go back and get something. I think there was a tier 2 chest somewhere. Um, I I tried out the glitch where you can, you can teleport through this door, um, but I don't actually know how to do it properly at least and or maybe they took out the glitch and i would be happy about that because i mean you shouldn't be able to teleport through doors without keys so that's cool but yeah there's the the dungeon completion with my most powerful fun loadout that's not the crossbow plus reload cheese strat <laughs> um I think it's the most powerful. I could be wrong. I might make another video that's even more powerful. But see, seven weapon modules is pretty great for where I'm at in the game. Um, I mean, it's just anyone. Seven weapon modules in one dungeon raid, that's pretty good. I didn't count the exact chests in that dungeon, but it was it was some good stuff. 89 kills. Just, just ignore this. I totally didn't fall to my death there. Um, and then all that gold. That was nice. That was nice stuff. And uh, yeah, again, these... These slicing blades are so cool with the, the marble or the chrono. What is it? Like chrono something? I don't know what that metal is called, but it is neat, neat stuff. Um, and then, yeah, this bow with the attack power is pretty awesome. I wish it was a rare so it didn't have the purple tint, but the purple tint's kind of cool on this weapon. I do like the blue better, though. That's okay. That's okay. It does what it does. It gives me those ice arrows that are very cool looking. And yeah, that'll be it. At some point, I'm going to try to hit seven bullseyes in a row with this, like I did with the crossbow. But we'll see. It's harder because there's two points of failure. We can fail over here and we can fail over here. Both hands. You can move and mess up. Unlike the crossbow, it's just one hand. So you just hold down and click but making it up on the well, 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 well them and just like in the hundreds and everything else but yeah no it was that was a fun run enjoy my vile halls i'm gonna try to find a really good sandstorm dungeon because that's probably the easiest dungeon and then i have a good lava forge but i also want the underworld because i like the aesthetic of the under underworld the most but yeah sandstorm vile halls lava forge trying to find really good dungeons for all of them but then the dungeons are going to reset anyway like they reset these save dungeons just because you know they, they add new rooms and it's uh it's boring if you have save dungeons all the time so it's a good thing it's a good thing i think but yeah that was the video hope you enjoyed and peace out